Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed. Today is January 14, 2014, and uh, about 9.08 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, all this th stuff you hear about aliens, can they read your mind? I'm going to answer that, and, and I'll pick a place, and I'll verify that for you. But... You, you're hearing a lot about this. You're hearing a lot about aliens underground. They're under Dulce in New Mexico. They're in, under mountains in Mar Arizona and in Colorado. And um, you hear about all these levels, one through seven. In some places, there are far more than that and about what's on each level. But some of the things that I'm hearing just aren't making sense and one guy that gave his account for things that happened on the levels that he knew of, somebody asked him, well, why didn't you tell, tell us more about this a long time ago? He said, well, they read your mind. They know your thoughts. I want to rebuke that really quickly. And I want to rebuke it and go all the way back to the, the mind reader himself or the man who interpreted dreams. When Nebuchadnezzar had the dream that scared the daylights out of him and frightened him, he didn't know what it was. So he brought his magicians. He brought the, the witchcraft doctors or all these people, the village idiots, who can tell me about my dream? Well, no one could. So he told me, he said, look, you're going to tell me or I'm going to kill you. So they had to scramble and figure out who could. And one of them said, well, look, you, you got Daniel up here. He has a different God than we do. They said, go get Daniel. So they brought Daniel down. And Daniel said, I can't interpret the king's dream. I don't know what he dreamed. But then God came to Daniel and said, Daniel, I'm going to tell you what he dreamed. You relay it to him. And he dreamed about the end times, which the, the times that are coming up on us right now the, in the end days. So Daniel told him about his dream. That should be proof enough that no one other than God can read your mind. That should be solid proof right there. When you go to pray, God hears you, but only God. Satan does not hear what you pray. If he did, he'd try to head you off. He doesn't know, and certainly these fallen angels, which we all call them aliens, what they are, they're the Nephilim, they're still here, and they're about to make a grand entrance into this world and we're being prepared for it today. But they can't read your mind. And the other number one thing, they cannot take you. You hear a lot about them kidnapping and taking people. I believe they do. I really do. I know they take people. I know they zap them right out of their house and do these crazy things to them. But if you're a Christian, they cannot. They cannot take a Christian. They cannot hurt a Christian. Now, they may hypnotize someone and get someone to tell them, hey, tell me what you're thinking. But as far as reading your mind, no way. One can read your mind, and he's God Almighty. He is the only one that can read your mind all the time. Anyway, I wanted to bring that up to you and let you know, look, things are really going to happen. And it's going to happen, and it will. It will scare the crap out of you. I mean, in a major way. And I'm not being funny. It's going to be, it's going to be bad. But if you're a Christian, you can't escape it. By reading John 3, 16. God says it plainly that he loved the world so much that he gave his son. Anyone who believes in his son should not perish. Believe that. Know it and you will escape the things that are about to come upon this world. Jody Wolf, Exposed.